And listen to my story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. The first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Hey, there's something awfully screwy going on around here. Grab and come with us on our grass and woodcock hunts this season. Doodle. Come on, that bird. All right, break. The bird. The bird, come here. Boy. Well, I got a grouse at least. Did you? Yeah. I, heard, yeah, I heard you shoot. I heard him fly. Yep. Kick it into high gear on him. Try and get up there in front of him. Is he still trailing? Huh? Where? Oh, I got it. Jesus, I couldn't even see him in there. You killed that. You killed that. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm telling you, your shot knocked it down. I shot and didn't touch it. Yours knocked it down. Dead bird, I know. I shot that. Oh man, that's a big dog. Oh, oh. the king. Oh, dad, that's awesome. And the old fox is playing. Yeah. Good retreat, Jackie Bear. Good dog, wow. Look at that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I shot him right here. <laughs> Good job. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that king. That chocolate rust too, that's crazy. Man. Oh, these are the, these are the, they're, they're the rust of chocolate, you yep. think? Yep. It was going straight away, and I mean, I just shot through all this shit. <laughs> all we need is a BB or two, right? right? That's it. That's all we need. <laughs> wow. 
What a... I didn't, I didn't see a fly after I shot. Well, <clears throat> made it halfway through the day. It's like 10.30 and two grouse and a woodcock. Yeah, he got his first grouse in a long time, so that made my day today. Doesn't get much better than that. Old Buck, the old veteran, pointed it for him too and trailed it for a long time. It was running his big old grouse too. What do you pups think? Good job today. You're backing old Buck on that grouse right there. Both of them. That's pretty damn good for a couple pups. <laughs> These hunting experiences are about so much more than just the harvest. It's about the entire experience. It's these father and son moments that many people never get to experience deeply entrenched in the outdoors that so many people just can't understand why we do this crazy shit where we get up at the crack of dawn and just go scout grouse or train dogs year round to develop them into what we saw today. It's moments like this that won't be here forever unless we do our part for conservation and passing down that legacy that was bestowed upon us as young children from our fathers or our mentors or whoever it was that exposed us to this. I feel like they've made that investment over the years in each one of us that are doing it today that it's our responsibility to do that for the next generation. Yep, I got bone on point over here. 20, whoa. Whoa. See on point in front of you. Did you get your doodle? 20. Oh man, that's a beautiful bird. Yeah? Or I mean, Fee pointed it, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. And then Gwen went in and I kept blowing her, but she locked right up on it. And you talk about a hub, but that was so cool. I was here like this. I went, it just came out real quick. I went, I was just blowing it like that. When I shot, I go, ah, oh, shit. I shot the hell out of it. <laughs> there must have been a BB or two. Look at that. Yep. Hit him in the beak or something. Yep. Teamwork makes the dream work, girl. I was just so proud of it. Both of them. Yep. She was locked up pretty. Easy girl. Here you go find some grass. Holy shit. That a girl, El. Dipper. Come here. Come here, baby girl. Yeah, good job. Good job, come here. Good girl. Girl, hey, shit, baby, baby, girl. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. Good girl, girl. Thank you, good girl. Yeah, good girl. We shot the ass out of that one, didn't we? Hey, that's okay, we got you a grouse. Good job, buck. The bird! The bird! Yeah. Well, I deserve that after I just fell in that ditch. <laughs> Don't tell me there ain't no grouse in New York. <laughs>
<laughs> Hell, you dropped it in the water, Buck. Come here, Buck. Dead bird, come here. Bring it here. Come here. Thank you. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. The king. Big old male. Yeah, look, we got two grouse and two woodcock in. What did we have? 20 birds around this place? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> are we putting a den in anything? No. No, no but we sure as hell are having fun. Yeah, we are. <laughs> well, I say we get back to where we started today. Cut them all loose, let them get some juice out of them. Have a beer. How's that sound? Yeah, my legs are about done. Join us next week. We'll be back chasing the king and some doodles in the state of New York. And click subscribe or drop some comments if you like what you're seeing. Thanks, everybody. Well, got out of work today and hit uh, about a mile and a half back in to uh, a set of beaver ponds um, they cover back here in New York again so we'll uh, get back in here and get all the way down to the bottom and see what we can find they did some work on this red it's a sloppy slippery muddy mess right now so hopefully we can get some of these young dogs on some grouse and maybe find some woodcock this is the first time I've ever run this back here um, this early in the season when there's still woodcock around so I've run it late found it last year so uh, hopefully we get in some. Hang with us. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. There's one grouse. Well, not as productive as I was hoping. Um, had four flush, had two false points, so I'm assuming we had one running there and slipped out from in front of us or underneath us. But, uh, yeah, working our way back. Got about two miles to get back to the truck, so. Um, yeah, I thought it was gonna be worth the two miles today. Figured nobody would be down in here, but. Um, yeah, bird numbers just weren't as good as they were last year here, so. Hey. The bird, B. Good girl. Come here. Hey. B, come here. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Drop. No. In the pond. All right, we're on the board. Break. Good 
joke, yes. Hell. Hell. Yeah. Come here. Hey. The bird. Fuck the bird. Get it? Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. Good girl. Nope. Good girl. Nope. Drop it. Wow. Another just awesome, awesome grouse. Wow. Did it get any better than that? Oh yeah, look at him, man. He's locked up right in there. See him? Yep. He's locked up. That looks woodcockish. Yep. Go ahead and tap him on the head, tell him to break. Yep. Good bird. I like that. There you got. Ooh. That's a fresh, fresh cell too. Hey, don't be picking at it, man. Thank you. Boy buck. Yeah. What the fuck you got? Uh, that one. Well, that's two. We say we call it a day, girl. Huh? We guys say we call it a day. Good job. Yeah, we don't want to take Good too long. Dogs. All right. Come on. Welcome to the PA Grouse and Woodcock Opener. This has become a family and friend tradition at our footbridge camp, and and we have a ball doing it every year. It's pouring down rain on us this year, but hang with us. Whoop. The birds. There you go. Good boy, come here. Hey, come. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll head up the left side. Well, we're on the board. The bird. Good boy, Buck. Good boy. Another doodle. There's another big son of a bitch. That bird. Good boy. Good boy, come here. That's this year's bird. Just flew down here. It just flew down here. Glenn's about to be working it here in two seconds. Coming back at you.
All right, break. V, break. All right, break. Get ready. If it comes up again, shoot it. <laughs> oh shit. You scared me flying right up. Right. Planted it too thick. You don't hear them flying around. Oh, there we go. Whoa, buck. Whoa. Whoa. Damn, coming to you. All right, boss, break. Bonda, all right. Yep, there it goes. Four, two. All right. Where you get? Good girl, come here. <laughs> come here. Good girl. Good girl, drop. Good girl. Well done, Mike. All right, Buck, break. Grouse. So, bitch. The bird. Good girl, Jack. Good girl. Come here. Drop the girl. A <laughs> bunch. What you shooting coming up there? Yeah, I got one. Really? And I missed one, and then I got another one. I don't know whether I knocked it down or went down. What's that? What's that? Hey, hey, hey. Think they're flight birds? No, these are residents. Oh, all right. Two grouse come off that point and went that direction. Buck was locked up and. Okay, kids. Oh, shit. Oh. Here goes the quail. About them being <laughs> That's my bad. Yeah, there's some quail here. Don't Sorry about that. Let them go. It doesn't matter. Get out of there. They're just shitting everywhere right now. Look at your quail. I forgot that they're in there. I'm surprised they stayed that long. <laughs> I gotta find a Hell yeah. I have a pen What do we got in there? Hey, I can't put him in that thing. Hey, get back. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> Whoa. That should be four of them. That's all of them. That's four, is that how many you had? Yeah. We'll be going here. Welcome back to another week of New York and Pennsylvania grouse and woodcock hunting. Put uh, some young dogs on the ground with some old dogs this weekend and uh, had some pretty solid results. You know, you always hear stories uh, about the best dog that everyone's ever had. And you rarely hear uh, how bad of a trainer someone actually was. I can tell you that my first dog, Buck, taught me a hell of a lot more than I taught him. And it's funny, after you train your second dog, you go back and have to beg for forgiveness from your first dog for all the stuff you screwed up for them the first time around. Hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, this week. We found a bunch of birds, um, played in the rain the whole time. My shooting wasn't uh, up to par, but the dog work was pretty solid, so enjoy. Oh, there's a woodcock. That a girl, Jack. 
A bird. Yeah, good girl, come here. Hell no. No, hell. and help us grow the channel. Welcome back to another year of the Rough Grouse Society's up in bird hunting at PA Wilds. We found 24 grouse in two days and put our hunters on their first grouse and their first woodcock. It was an honor to be part of the event and I look forward to doing it again next year. Hope everyone enjoys the video and can support the Rough Grouse Society by either renewing your membership or buying some RGS gear from their online store. Hope you enjoy. Grouse coming to you, Larry. Did you knock him down? 
Was that a gray face? Yeah. Was that a gray tail? I think it was. That's the one I'm searching for. 45 yards there, we got a dog on point out in front of you. You get him? Come here. No. Come here. Drop. No. Drop. He got that bird. That's a big male too. Pain. On the board. That a boy, Tim. Let's see why you sent me out to the road. Yeah, I think it's nasty down there. Look at that, man. It's a big old male. Super. Yeah. Great shooting. There you go. Like I said, it was like shooting sporting clays. <laughs> yeah. It was right over top of a uh, oil well. Was it? Yeah. Nice. Larry had one fly across the road right in front of him. He should have knocked that sucker down too. Enough of it. There you go. Damn. Shot the hell out of that tree. They're going to grow somewhere. Oh, right here. Yep, we gotta follow that up. Should have had two more birds out of that. That was pretty wild. Shit. What are the odds of that cripple flying to where the two others are sitting down? I know. Crazy. There was four birds that came out of there. Four came out? Yeah. I missed two flying right across the road. I'm standing on a log when the second one gets up and I'm trying to deftly pirouette to shoot. <laughs> fell down on my ass. <laughs> love hate relationship with these damn grouse. Oh. <laughs> and the second one was a gray face. Was it? Son of a bitch. Yeah, oh man. But I mean came at me just like that. I thought I'll just take it going away. <laughs> no Whoa. Go ahead, walk up in there. Whoa. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's a grouse right there. Straight up. Gone? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> yep, right there where you're standing where it come out. There it is. Nice shot. That bird. Good job. <laughs> Alright. Good job, sir. man. Yeah. That bird. Good one. Hey. That a boy. We cut? Yep. Good bird, come here. Shit. 
here. Yeah. All right, buddy. Drop. Hey, no. Drop. Drop. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Shit. <laughs> Shot him in his ass. <laughs> there you go, man. Oh, anyway. Good job. No, we're on the board. On the board. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and help us grow the channel. Well, we're back for another week of grouse and woodcock hunting in PA. We've actually got a Sunday open to hunt in Pennsylvania this uh, weekend, so we're going to give it a shot for two days. We found a ton of birds. Um, couldn't hit shit, so not much on the ground, but enjoy. This was pretty good dog work. Uh, I'm even the young dogs doing pretty well. And I was surprised to see the woodcock still around with the snow. Must be some more flight birds coming in from, uh, from the north. So hang with us. Um, to see one grass get harvested. Um, boy, that thing tasted good. Enjoy, guys. Alright, break. Six yards, bond is on point. Come around the corner and the and L are back in. Good job, yes. Daddy can't hit shit today. Whoop. Break.
bird. The bird. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Hell no. Hell no. Hey, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Drop. Okay. King. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and help us grow the channel. Welcome back, guys. So, we've got a couple different things going on in this video. Um, some of this hunt is from back in PA. Uh, the last weekend before deer season opened up and grouse hunting got shut down. And then the second part of it is a Saturday and Sunday, um, the following weekend after Thanksgiving break up in New York. So, Got onto a bunch of grouse. Um, still was finding some woodcock back beforehand, so that uh, was pretty good then. So hang with us, check it out. Let us know what you think. Drop some comments. Thanks, guys. Getting a little frisky there, huh? <laughs> she found it. No, nah, they don't care either. They're good people. You got a grouse in there or what? I'm gonna loop around and hopefully flush it back to you. Well, I see some woodcock shit. I don't know. Well, no bird there, but um, swung down around a little bit. Found this bird a little later in the day. Wraps up our Saturday hunt in PA. Now on to New York. We got a solid point on this bird and then worked out and around. I'm um, trying to get in front and uh, made a nice shot and ended up with a buck and making a retreat for me. Go find that bird, Pete. That bird, come here. Buck, come. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> King. We swung up around this beaver pond and there's a thick patch up above. Come up around there and can see old buck in the white on point, but couldn't see the other dog, so I tried to get out and loop up and around. And of course. Bird comes up once I get into the thick stuff. Just swung around another beaver pond and come up over this little knoll and see uh, Jack and Elle locked up in this thick patch. Should have had a double there. That would have been sweet. Bird. Come here. Dead bird. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Drop her. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on. Good girl. Oh, Jack. Getting her done. Up. 
This was Jack's first uh, solo pointed bird with the back, and she even got to retrieve for me. Jack was the one who locked up on first, and it's pretty rewarding for me to see a pup do that. Well, that wraps up our Saturday hunt. Um, then we got some snow overnight, and then you can see our Sunday hunts next. Had some dogs lock up on the front side of this thick patch and looped out around, and I wasn't sure if I hit this bird or not. Hey, come here. Good girl. Good girl, me hey, come. Thought I got that bird. Come here. No, come. Come. Good girl. Drop. Alright. On the board. That's why you follow it up. I definitely shot the ass out of it. This bird I was working up through a valley and had the dogs working this right side and I looped around this down tree and started to try and get out in front of the dogs there. They walked up on points that worked back around where I could have some opening for a shot and I'll see how that plays out. The battery died, so I didn't get to retrieve on this one, but another solid male bird. Thanks for watching this week, everyone, and uh, help us out and click subscribe. We should be back next week uh, with some more New York hunts, and then the following week we'll be um, back in the PA Glasswoods. So stick with us, click subscribe, drop us some comments, and, and uh, we'll see you Thanks, guys. Welcome back to another video, guys. This week, um, we headed over to camp, and you're going to see a completely different set of dog work the first two days, um, and then the conditions changed on us, and it poured down rain, and no birds were all tight. So, stick with us. We didn't kill any birds either, but that was our fault, not the dogs. Stick with us. Check it out. Let us know if you did. Drop some comments. And hopefully we can get some bird services next weekend. So this one I got Mondo locked up down here to my right and Fee's back in. So I'm trying to swing out in front of him to get this bird to fly straight up. And it does. And you'll see how bad my shooting was. That's on me. Damn, guys. Nice job. This bird is one that Mom had been working for a little bit, and it just got a wild flush out on the road. That was our Thursday hunt on the way over to camp. So we're going to kick off the Friday morning hunt like that. Good seizure on point over here. Nice job, Caesar. That was nice work. I don't think. This one I got a little jack on the ground uh, with help, and Jack walks up on this one so that and I thought for sure this bird was gonna be out a little bit farther. Uh, but it helped pretty tight. Oh, 
son of a bitch. <laughs> Next section you're gonna see is our hunt on Saturday. And this is when the birds were completely different. Wooden holes, uh, running out from under us, flush and bob. And it was pouring down rain, so the conditions changed. Uh, but got some shooting, but not great shooting. The part you can't tell from the video is I thought we were going to be making a loop and then back out to the leg line and then hiking back up over and I got split off the valley that I did to the end and ended up uh, a couple miles from where I was supposed to be so it took us a little while I tried to go a couple miles to get back but that happened to us two days in a row this weekend so I think we tired and chilled about time to get Thanks for joining us. If you uh, like what you saw, click subscribe, drop some comments, and uh, watch what you talk. Nice guys. I don't know how I hit that. It was it was this high off the ground, like a <laughs> missile. He's like 50 feet straight ahead. Uh huh. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try and get in here where I can get a decent shot. Yep. I'm guessing I'm just gonna get a flush and not much of a shot. Coming to you. Nice. Oh boy, Bondo. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice, nice male, solid man. You can tell he's been looking at him. Awesome, man. Sweet. Hell yeah. Chocolate roughs too, brother. Yep. Look awesome. at that. That's a pretty bird. He uh he came down right into this pine tree. I just smoked on. That's sweet, man. Look at that. Nice bird. Hell yeah, brother. Oh man. Awesome. Sweet. Congrats. So there's, there's some tracks right here. Is there? One walked in. I bet they were I bet they pushed it across the road then. Because they were on point back in here. Yeah, they probably did. That's that's awesome though. Yeah. He was locked up down there. It flushed flew right from past me. I was trying to swing and there was a yeah, tree yeah. behind me. I was standing up on top of the log. It's a little easier to observe than moving that than for us. Yeah. Sweet, man. On the board. On the board, finally. All right. Day, we'll take it. Hey, anytime <laughs> we put a grouse in the bag, it's yeah, a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> this thing's here, let alone. Yeah, right, baby. On 28. Baby gone. That's it. Closed out the PA season. Okay.
get out of work today and uh, got a little bit of a winter warm spell. It was uh, negative 14 this morning, but it's kicking up to about 21 degrees right now. So we're going to head over to New York, see if we can't uh, find a couple grass. we got about two feet of snow on the ground, so a good bit of snow, but we'll see what we can do. Hang with us. Something, baby. They can get any better than that. Ooh. On the board. Thanks for watching everyone. Click subscribe and help us grow this channel. Throw some uh, comments in down below. Tell us the kind of stuff you'd like to see coming out in these videos. And uh, give us a share on your social media account. And we'll see you guys next time we're out chasing the cake.